you don't have to work 12 hours a day to succeed as a game developer. Professional game developers recently gave in on the secrets on how to triple your progress with less time. Let me give you in on these secrets. But first, my name is Fahir and I help game developers build their dream games and get hired in their dream studios. So if you are in that kind of stuff, make sure that you subscribe. Now, look, people are living this myth that you need to give up your sleep and your life in order to become a successful game developer. This is a complete lie. And I'm going to tell you how you can see progress much faster by working less. We're going to start with a simple tip. Stop dreaming big, dream small. Sounds crazy, right? Let me explain. A lot of people who enter the game development space, they want to achieve everything right away. And I see this so often that I'm thinking about writing a book about that. And why is this bad? This is bad, especially for people who don't have that working habit. They want to achieve something big, which will lead to burnout the second day. Imagine this, you put on a piece of paper that you want to create an RPG game. We all know what's an RPG game. It's a huge mountain that we need to cross. And when you look at it, well, oh, that's you know, too big, too huge, I'm not even going to start. But when you break it down into smaller pieces, okay, first I'm going to get to this place, then to this place, then to this place, translating that into an RPG game, let's say you put on a piece of paper, okay, today I'm going to make the character move. Tomorrow I'm going to make the RPG character jump. Then I'm going to animate him. Then I'm going to make him attack and so on and so forth. Every single time you achieve one of these steps, you will feel more productive. And what is really important, you will feel like you are one step closer to your goal. Let's say that you have 100 steps to reach the goal of creating your RPG game. Today you pass by or finish one step, then another step, then second step, then third step. And every time you do that, you feel more proud, more productive, and you build your work habit. And before you know it, you turn around yourself and you see that you are two steps away from creating your game. Whereas if you try to create everything at once, you would get burned out so quickly. So it's really important that you lay out things, lay them out, break them down into smaller achievable pieces, smaller achievable dreams. And this is that tip, dream or stop dreaming big, dream small, because that will help you achieve goals quicker. But there's a good chance that you will stop seeing results with this tip if you don't combine it with tip number two. And this tip number two will help you never waste a single day of your life. You see, a lot of people, when they want to learn or do something, they don't get into the working habit. What does that mean? Well, for example, today I'm going to work from 9 to 12. When I work from 9 to 12, then I'm going to go out, watch some Netflix, play some video games, doesn't matter. Tomorrow I'm going to work from 12 to 3 and then do the same thing. I'm going to watch games and actually watch Netflix and play games and so on and so forth. Why is this bad? Well, every single day you are shifting. Today is this working, this time is the working hours, tomorrow this time is the working hours and so on and so forth. And that is the problem because we humans, we are beings of habit. Our brains are built on habits. So what you need to do is you need to set your working hours, no matter if you work for yourself or freelance, you need to set, for example, today I'm going to work or every single day I'm going to work from nine to 12. And every single day you show up at that time. What's going to happen is your brain subconsciously is going to drill that in itself that, okay, from nine to 12, my master or the person who has the brain is working. So we need to get into extra focus mode and turn up the gear so that we can actually put out or, or achieve or get out the maximum out of the thing that we are doing. And when you do that for a certain period of time, that is when your brain will get into the extra focus. And that is how you will work three hours and achieve more than if you worked like 12 hours scattered all over the day. The next tip is going to sound a little scummy, but it's not, so bear with me. Go with the buzz. What does that mean? Well, when you find something that is popular at that point of time, be that a video game, a movie, or a TV show, that you can combine with game development and create something with it, just do it. Because that is a way to build connections, create your audience and your fans. When you do that, when you build something and you share it, and people find it either funny or interesting or even useful, people will start sharing in among them. And that is when you will be in the center of the attention. That is when people will talk about you and your name will be mentioned, which means a lot of job opportunities will get in your way, as opposed to when you're not doing that and you're trying to apply to every single job opportunity that you find and you get rejected. So when you create a buzz 
around yourself, about your name, about your brand or whatever, people will find you more easily and people will actually reach out to you for certain, you know, solutions or whatever. By combining these three tips, you will become undistracted, hardworking and fast achieving game developer. And these are the things that are in front of our noses all the time, but we are blinded by motivational videos from Bill Gates and Elon Musk who tells us that we need to work 24 seven in order to succeed. Well, we don't have to go through the same mistakes as they did. So by applying these three tips, you will build your games much faster, more efficient, and finally get that dream job you always wanted to. That's the wisdom I have to share in this video. So hit the like button because you cannot dislike it anymore. <laughs> also, make sure that you subscribe to the channel. We are over 100K. Congratulations to me. Yay. Anyways, uh, you can also check out the Game Development Academy. Link is down below and I will see you guys in the next wisdom video. Job opportunities you...